Um, we are this morning talking about uh, Global Futures 2030, been um, hosting a week-long training session on the International Futures Software. We were able to do that uh, with the support of uh, funding from the British uh, High Commission. Um, and it's part, it's sort of the tail end of uh, about a year-long project, uh, which has seen a lot of development um, below the radar or under the hood, um, as uh, I think some of my colleagues would say, with regard to the development of software, various publications, and um, a, um, a website that we will show you that we are going to, to launch today. So first is just to say thanks to the British High Commission for making that possible, as well as to the normal supporters of the Institute, which is the governments of Sweden, Norway, Netherlands, and Denmark who provide us with, with core support. Um, what we are going to do, different to most ISS events, this is entirely on the record, normally we, we run things under ISS rules, um, and we have three presenters that are going to uh, present to us. Um, they are first uh, Professor uh, Barry Hughes, whose brainchild the uh, International Futures System is. Uh, it is an amazing piece of, of software that he spent the last 30 years working on. Um, it is the most comprehensive um, uh, integrated forecasting system uh, that I am aware of, uh, and certainly that I think that, that is freely and openly available. And I mean that you can download it, the entire software. It's quite a job, but it's there. We have also from the party center Jonathan Moyer, who is uh, on the right hand side. Is, uh, uh, Jonathan is uh, Barry is the older gentleman. Um, <laughs> Jonathan is, uh, is a lead trainer and, uh, at, at uh, IFS and has been, I think this is the fifth time that he's come to South Africa to partner with uh, the ISS. We established a partnership between our two institutions, I think two years ago, and have been steadily working on trying to find a voice uh, and a platform to look at the global future of Africa. Uh, the world is changing. Uh, and Africa's fortunes are changing more rapidly than any other continent. We see this uh, in our daily lives, uh, in our interactions. We see this in the publications and the conferences and the events. So what we have been trying to do, and we are, I think, well advanced in being able to do that, is to provide a portal, a place, a hub for discussion on the long-term future of the continent. Um, not a definitive answer, because these things, as uh, we all know are tools to help us think about the future. It's not predictions, these are forecasting capabilities that help us think about the future. So what is going to happen uh, this morning um, is we are going to, our three, um, uh, two colleagues from, uh, from the party center are going to speak and present, um, drawing from the model and presenting some of the global trends as we see it. Uh, Aaron, uh, Torkinson from our Cape Town office will then at the end of the presentation launch uh, the IFS website where you can amongst others manipulate the data, uh, download the software and look at other work that other organizations are doing on the continent. Uh, and then after that uh, we, will, uh, we will be taking, um, we'll have a bit of a discussion time and time for questions and discussions. I said that at the start of this, uh, what has been happening this week is that we have for the last week been at uh, Durko and uh, Fadel Nazaruddin from Durko is here, or Farrell, I always pronounce your name wrongly Farrell. Um, and we have been f uh, providing them with training on the software so that as um, uh, Durko have a unit that looks at uh, policy analysis within the Department of International Relations, and the, so this is a tool that they can use, amongst others, to look at uh, policy issues, long-term future issues. And we spent this last week looking at a variety of matters. We spent a, a day looking at the future of, of the MENA region. We spent another day looking at uh, potential for infrastructure development. We looked at the potential for a green revolution in Africa. Because the model allows you to look and to explore different variants of these futures. So thank you very much for partnering with us. Uh, it, it was a great, uh, also using your facilities, which were really fantastic and made quite a difference, apart from many lunches and teas and coffees and all that type of stuff. 
Um, so, um, Jonathan, I think you're going to go first. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to let you ask that uh, just uh, we switch the, the front lights off. And then um, I think you're going to hand over to Barry and back to you and then to Aaron. And then at the end of, of the show, if I can use that term, we'll, uh, we'll then take questions and discussions. But uh, I hope you'll enjoy the, the morning session with us. Jonathan.